Welcome to all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about density of energy states. We are going to derive the mathematical expression for density of energy states. First, let us see the definition. The ability of metal to conduct electricity, that is, electrical conductivity of metal mainly depends on the number of energy levels available for electrons. Hence, it is essential to find the energy states available for electrons or charge carriers. So the actual definition is density of state is defined as number of energy states per unit volume of metal in the energy range E to E plus T. Number of energy number of energy states per unit volume of metal in the energy range E to E plus T is called density of states. It is denoted by Z of E T. Z of E D E equal to number of energy states in the interval E to E plus D E divided by volume of metal. So now we are going to derive the derivation part of density of energy states in three dimension. So to, to derive the expression for density of energy states, we are considering a cubical unit cell. Its side is A. We are considering a cubic sample of side is A. Inside the cube, inside the cube, we are drawing an, one sphere. Inside the cubic cell, we are drawing a sphere or spherical cell. Its inner radius is N, corresponding energy is E. Its outer radius is N plus dN, corresponding energy is E plus dE. Here, the coordinate axis are Nx, Ny, Nz. This coordinate axis or these numbers nx, ny, nz are quantum numbers. Now, uh, to calculate the density of energy states, what we are uh, what we are considering the first, the concept is unit volume of sphere must represent one energy state. This is the concept here. Here we are considering unit volume of the sphere represent one energy states. So, the total volume of the sphere must represent total number of energy states in the sphere. So, the number of energy states within the sphere of radius n is 4 by 3 pi n cube. Here, uh, 4 by 3 pi n cube is the volume of sphere. Uh, since nx, ny, nz quantum numbers are only positive integers. So, we are dividing the sphere into 8 parts. That is called octants. Here, among the 8 parts, in only in one octant, this nx, ny, nz takes positive values. So, hereafter, we need not consider the entire sphere. Hereafter, uh, instead of uh, the entire sphere, we can uh, calculate uh, the number of energy states only in one octant is enough. That is what we are doing here. Here the concept is unit volume of sphere represent one energy state. So the total volume of sphere must represent total number of energy states in the sphere. So here we are writing number of energy states within the sphere is volume of the sphere. That is 4 pi 3 pi n cube. We know that small n is radius of the sphere. Here, uh, this nx, ny, nz, this quantum numbers uh, is only positive integer values. So, what we are doing, now we are dividing the sphere into 8 parts, that is called octant. Among the 8 parts, only in one octant, this nx, ny, nz takes positive values. So, hereafter we need not consider the entire sphere. We are considering only one octant for further calculation. Therefore, the number of available energy states within one octant of sphere, one octant of, sphere of radius n corresponding energy is E, which is given by n prime equal to 1 by 8 into 
4 pi 3 pi n cube. Here we are calculating number of energy states in 1 octet. So that is why we are putting 1 by 8 into 4 pi 3 pi n cube. This is equation number 1. Similarly, number of available energy states within 1 octet. This is outer octet of radius n plus dn corresponding energy is e plus dE which is given by n double prime equal to 1 by 8 into 4 pi 3 pi n plus dn whole cube where n plus dn is the radius of outer octet, outer spherical octet. Okay. Now what we want number of energy states in between the octant of radius n and n plus dn which is given by equation number 2 minus equation number 1 that is n of e de equal to equation 2 minus equation 1 n double prime minus n prime what we are getting n of e de equal to 1 by 8 4 pi 3 pi n plus dn whole cube minus equation number 1 1 by 8 into 4 pi 3 pi n cube okay uh, if we subtract what we are getting if we subtract that is uh, the common term is 4 pi by 3 so we are taking the common term into outside so 1 by 8 into common term 4 by pi 3 into n plus dn whole cube minus n cube here this n plus dn whole cube we need to uh, how uh, how we should simplify this one this is in the form of a plus b whole cube what is the formula a plus b whole cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square we are applying this formula here to expand this uh, a n plus d n whole cube uh, so what we are getting uh, this 4 if, if you simplify this 4 8 what we are getting uh, 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 into pi by 6. So, pi by 2 into 3, 6. Okay. Pi by 6 into uh, a plus b whole cube. That is n cube plus dn cube plus 3 n square dn plus 3 n dn square minus this n cube. Here we are simplifying this n cube and minus n cube getting cancelled. So, the remaining terms here dn is very small. So, the higher order terms dn square, dn square, dn cube, these higher order terms are negligibly small. Since dn is small, the higher order terms are neglected. So, we are neglecting this dn cube and 3n dn square. The remaining term is 3n square dn. What we are, what is the remaining term here? Pi by 6 into 3n square dn. This is the pi by 6 into 3n square dn. Okay. Uh, again, if you simplify uh, what you are getting 3, uh, 6, that is uh, 2. Pi by 2 into n square dn. Okay. Keep this equation as number 4. What is this? Number of energy states of octane, number of energy states in between the octants of radius n and n plus dn, which is given by equation 4 that is pi by 2 into n square dn okay and now uh, we are taking the uh, another equation what what is that equation we know that energy of electron in a cubic metal box is given by e equal to n square h square by 8 m a square in, in quantum mechanics itself already uh, we may uh, you may study it that is uh, energy of particle in a box uh, is n square h square divided by 8 m a square where n also uh, quantum number where uh, quantum number or number of orbits n equal to 1 2 3 then uh, m mass of electron or mass of particle a acceleration h Planck's constant okay so this expression 5 shows the energy of electron in a cubical box we are rearranging this equation. What we are getting? n square equal to 8 m a square e by h square. If we want n, we should take square root of equation number 6. What we are getting? n equal to 
uh, 8 ma squared e by h square power half. This is equation number 7 shows the value for n. Now, again we are differentiating this equation 6. Uh, if we differentiate the equation number 6, what we will get? Um, if you differentiate n square, we are getting 2n into dn. If you differentiate uh, right hand side, what we are getting? 8 ma square by h square, it is constant and this is de. So, if you differentiate equation number 6, what we are getting? 2n into dn, 8 ma square by h square into de. Um, if, you, uh, if you want n dn, bring this 2 here. What we are getting n dn equal to 8 ma square de by 2 h square. If you simplify 2, 8, what we are getting? 4. 4 ma square by h square de. This is the expression for n dn. So, in equation 7, we have the expression for n. In equation 8, we have the expression for n dn. We know equation number 4. That is n of e de equal to pi by 2 n square dn is equation number 4. We are rewritten the equation number 4 in this form. That is pi by 2 into n into n dn. Okay. Now, we are, uh, we are substituting equation 7 and 8 in the equation number 9. In the equation number 10, we are getting n of e de equal to pi by 4, 8 m a square by h square power 3 by 2 e power of into de. Uh, okay. Uh, now, the obtained value is uh, this one. Uh, now we are including Pauli's exclusion principle with the obtained uh, number of energy state value in the equation number 10. What is that Pauli's exclusion principle? Uh, two electrons of opposite spins can occupy in each energy states. Uh, that is, uh, each energy state is occupied by electrons of opposite spins. So, now we are multiplying equation number 10 by 2 what we are getting pi by 2 into 8m by h square power 3 by 2 a cube e power half de now we are simplifying this 8m by h square power 3 by 2 uh, if we simplify what we are getting 8m power 3 by 2 is written as 8m into 8m power half this h square uh, power 3 by 2 is written as h cube now, again we are simplifying this 8m into 8m power half. That is, this 8m is written as 4 into 2m. This 8m power half is written as 4 into 2m power half by h cube. Again, uh, this uh, 4 into 2m. Uh, again, this uh, 4 into 2m power half is again rewritten as uh, this uh, 4 into root 2. That is, 4 power 1 by 2 is 2. 2m power half remaining 2m power half by h cube. Now 4 into 2, 8 into 2m into 2m power half. We combine 2m and 2m power half. What we are getting? 2m power 3 by 2. Now uh, we have the value 8 into 2m power 3 by 2 by h cube. We are substituting this 8m power 3 by 2 by h square power 3 by 2 in this equation. So what we are getting? n of e d e equal to pi by 2 into uh, this 8 into 2m power 3 by 2 by h cube into uh, a cube e power half d. Okay, this is the number of energy states in between the octant of radius n to n plus dn. Uh, okay, so we know the formula for z of e d. So, we already wrote in the a second slide itself we wrote the expression for z of e d e equal to n of e d e divided by volume of metal. So, we now we have the expression for n of e d e. So, the, uh, we are dividing this expression by a cube. So, uh, if you divide this n of e d e by a cube, what we are getting? The final expression is 4 pi pi h cube 2m power 3 by 2 e power half d e. This a cube and a cube getting cancelled. This is the final expression. What is the density of energy states? Z of e d e equal to 4 pi pi h cube 2m power 3 by 2 e power half d e. 
so this expression is the final expression for density of energy states where m is mass of electron e is energy of particular